Another important concept in manpower and capacity planning is stock time. Stock time is relevant in case demand is limited or if there is a buyer's market for your product. Improving utilization and productivity is not the only reason to balance the line and right-size manpower. We also do this when we want to match demand and capacity. In a demand-constrained situation, you would want to match the demand rate with your capacity and throughput rate. This demand rate can be translated into a required process cycle time called TAC time. TAC, a German word originally associated with music, means the music beat or rhythm that, say, a conductor uses to guide the orchestra to produce the desired music. In a process, when the TAC time is equal to its cycle time, there is a perfect match between demand and capacity, meaning there are no unserved demand nor excess capacity like manpower. Let's look at an example. If demand is 4,800 units per month or 20 units per hour, assume 30 days per month or 8 hours per day, then the tack time is 3 minutes per unit. Let's now apply this tack time to our original process. As you can see in this slide, the process cycle time or bottleneck cycle time of 5 minutes is longer than the 3 minute tack time. This means our process, as it is, can't meet the demand rate of 20 units per hour. Its capacity is just 12 units per hour. To meet the tack time, you may have to adjust your manpower and balance the line. We will now learn how to get the required manpower to meet the demand and avoid overstaffing or understaffing. The required or minimum number of manpower in a process is its lead time divided by the tack time or required process cycle time. In our previous example, the tack time is 3 minutes per unit. Since the process lead time is 15 minutes, the required manpower comes out as 15 divided by 3 or 5 operators. You may be wondering why our process has the right number of operators 5 and despite being right size, it can produce only 12 units per hour and not the required capacity of 20 per hour. To right size the right way, we have to do something else aside from having the right manpower. We also have to balance the line and load everyone such that each gets a cycle time of 3 minutes to achieve a process capacity of 20 per hour. Let's take another case. Suppose demand is only 2,880 per month or 12 per hour. Our tack time becomes 5 minutes. Since our lead time is 15, then the required manpower is 3. Let's now try to meet this tack time with our process. Note that though our process can achieve the tack time of 5 minutes, and the required capacity of 12 per hour with 5 operators, it would be overstaffed by 2. To right size and achieve the required capacity and tack time, we assign only 3 operators, as in our previous example, so that each gets exactly a 5 minute cycle time, which is also the tack time. 